You wanted to speak to me, Lady Grantham? Yes, on a melancholy matter, I'm afraid. Please. I want to talk a little more about the death of my granddaughter. Oh, terrible. Terrible tragedy. But now I am concerned beyond that. Oh? Are you worried for the child? No, not especially. No, she seems quite a tough little thing. Dr Clarkson, my daughter-in-law is quite convinced you could have saved Sybil had you been allowed to. Well, one can never speak of these things with any certainty. Well, this is the point. What was the likelihood of Sybil's survival? Had we operated? She might have lived. There are cases where an early caesarean saved the mother after preeclampsia. How many cases? Not many, I admit. I'd need to do some research. I want you to tell Lord and Lady Grantham what you have almost admitted to me. But there was a chance. Dr Clarkson, you have created a division between my son and his wife when the only way they can conceivably bear their grief is if they face it together. So you want me to lie to them and say there was no chance at all? Lie is so unmusical a word. I want you to review the evidence, honestly and without bias. Even to his suffering, I could never justify telling an outright lie. Have we nothing in common? Dr. Clarkson. Lady Granson, how are you? Much as you'd expect me to be. Dr. Clarkson has something to tell you which may alter your view on things a little. I don't mean to be discourteous, but I doubt it. Since you're here, I have a few words of my own to say. I feel I owe you an apology. Please, Lord Grantham, if you'll just allow me. On that awful night, I'm afraid I may have given you the impression that my recommended course of treatment offered a real chance for Lady Sybil's survival. The truth, and I've done a great deal of research since, as you can imagine, is that the chance was a small one. A tiny one, really. I'd read that early delivery was the only way to avoid the trauma, and it is. As you tried so hard to tell us. But what I did not quite realise was that eclampsia is almost invariably fatal, with or without a caesarean. Had you agreed, we would have subjected Lady Sybil to the fear and pain of a hurried operation, when in all likelihood, she would have died anyway. But there was a chance. An infinitesimal one. The discomfort and the terror would have been all too certain. So you think Tapsell was right? Oh, I cannot go that far. Sir Philip Tapsell ignored all the evidence in a most unhelpful and, and I may say, arrogant manner. But Sybil was going to die. When everything is weighed in the balance, I believe that Lady Sybil was going to die. And now I'll take my leave. Ha, ha, ha.